Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another haul. This time I finally went to Hobby Lobby. I have seen everybody haul stuff on clearance from Hobby Lobby, but I just couldn't get there. I don't know, either my depression or my condition, or you know, I had too much stuff going on and I could never go. And um, yesterday, my hubby fell sick. Do you say fell sick? I don't know. He, um, his foot is hurting and um, he's a man. I need to whisper because I don't want him to hear that. <laughs> but like any man, he's suffering a lot and I don't mind helping him. I really don't. But I thought, hey, a perfect day to get out of the house. <laughs> Michelle was here. She had a day off. So I went to stores and um, I'm still paying with my gift card. Yeah. <laughs> my hubby was so nice. He gave me a gift card a while ago and um, I'm very particular in what I want to use it on. So talk to too much. Um, it's a Hobby Lobby I believe half of it is on, on clearance. It's not much stuff and it's not paper crafting. It's mixed media. I would say all of it is. And I also went to Michael's and I will show you a couple things I bought there. But um, let me show you what I got at Hobby Lobby first. First of all, the very important thing at Hobby Lobby I did not get. You see this? This is supposed to piece i don't know how you call it and i just stuck it onto my desk because my desk is very white and um when i make videos it's too much white so i stuck this down a while ago and it got so you see it's all sprays from my mixed media and it's just dirty and i wanted to buy a new one for so long and guess what i forgot to buy yes exactly this piece dang it <laughs> But I can't go again. It will take me a while to go to Hobby Lobby again. It's a 20 minute drive or 25, but it's just too exhausting and painful for me. So, however, let me show you what I got. So this was not on clearance, but it was half off. And as you know, I'm a mixed media artist right now. <laughs> It's just so much fun. And I saw this modeling paste and um, it was half off. So I figured, hey, let's buy it. So I bought this one at um, Joanne's, um, no, Michael's or Michelle bought it for me a long time ago. And it's half, more than half gone now. This was, I believe, $4 or something. And it has four ounces. This one has 10 ounces and it came out to be six fifty. So I figured it's a good price. And what I like about it is in a jar like this. So I can actually scoop it out and put it back in. Here, if I take out too much, it's just wasted. And I hate to waste stuff. <laughs> so I bought this and this Master's Touch um, Fine Art Studio. It was just on sale. It was half off. And um, so I decided to finally get myself a brayer. <laughs> I don't know if it's a good one. It's a bad one. I have never had one. So it was $7 and it was half off as well. So it was $3.50. So that was good. See, I'm just like, okay, I'm going to use it because I did get this gel plate from um, a friend of mine. It's a tiny. It's probably smaller than the brayer, but whatever. Now I have a brayer. I have never had one. I was wanted actually to buy the gel plates on um, sale there. They did mark them down 75%, but of course they didn't have any left because I was so late. So yeah, no gel plate for me. I wanted to have a bigger one. I don't know. What is the bigger size? 8 by 11 or something. So you can fit a normal um, piece of paper on it. But nope, didn't have it. So Irina, you can't. Now, I bought acrylic gesso, and I do have gesso as well, and it's a small pack, and that was probably the same price like this one. Now, I do not know if acrylic gesso is a different coverage and ground for acrylics, oil, and other paint media. I don't know. It dries as permanent, water resistant, flexible. So, however, I have no clue if it's the same thing because this one says gesso canvas primer. <laughs> this one says acrylic gesso. So, if you know, let me know what I bought. <laughs> it was four no five dollars, and um, yeah, I don't know what does this say. This says 
acrylic gesso as well, by the way, on the back. There are so many different gessos. I don't know what it is. Somebody needs to help me. I need a mixed media artist to go shop with me, you know? But yeah, it was a much, a much bigger bottle or jar and it was just a little bit more expensive than the normal one I buy. Now, this one was on sale as well. And funny thing was there were some they looked exactly the same. They said exactly the same, the same color, everything. And they were not $9 or $8.99. And this was $6.99. So I don't know where the difference is, but it was half off again. And it came out to be $3.50. And I do buy the small jars at Walmart for a dollar. And they are much smaller than this. And I noticed that I need white paint. So here I go. What else? Oh, look what I bought. <laughs> I bought plastic palette. Oh my God, I'm a real artist now because every time I see somebody use a um, palette, I think they are real artists. <laughs> so now I am one and it has four pieces in it. I only wanted one, but it has four and I used my 40% coupon on that one <laughs> because everything else was on sale. So that came out to be, I don't know, $2 or something for four of them. And that was good. Do I see that? For some, it came out to be one seventy nine. I don't know. However, okay. Now this is clearance, I think, and it's not too much. Again, like I said, it's all I believe mixed media. Ah, well, I did see this um, sharpener, and I got it because uh, yeah, it's metal and it's good, and I need some for my pencils and I need some good ones because the pencils are expensive and a friend of mine sent me a sharpener so I will have one you know in case I need another one it was only 162 you know from 650 to 162 I thought I could afford it and I will definitely use it okay what's next oh yeah I've got something else I got those file folders I only got them because there are, I believe, 10 or 12. Does it say anywhere? Come on. Six designs. <laughs> Six designs. 12, yes. So there are 12 of them and it was 149. So they come out to be so cheap and I can... I was thinking about using them, like, you know, put my mixed media on them and then maybe put something inside of them. I don't care about the outer design. It's not my, you know, my taste. But for $149 and then 12 of them, that's the best price I have ever seen. So, yeah. Oh, this was not on sale as well. Or it was not. Okay. This was on sale. And um, $2.99. For two canvases, I thought it was a good price. Those are my very first ones. <laughs> so I'm planning on doing a real stuff here, you know, real mixed media on a canvas because I'm going to be an artist now. <laughs> yeah, I know. I have seen so many videos and the canvases are so pretty. And I'm doing my designs on um, cardstock right now on packaging. And I was thinking, hey, you could just do it on um, a canvas. It's going to be so, so pretty. You know, the last one I made I could put it on here. I think it was, it, I, I just think it would be great. See, I can't talk anymore because yeah, maybe soon I will buy more canvases, but that's going to be my very first one. And the last two items, they are the same, are those mixed media books and they were $2.69 and it's very sturdy. I don't know. It's not normal paper. Kind of feels like watercolor paper. So it says vellum surface. I'm not sure what that means, but maybe I will make a mixed media journal out of it. You know, just play here. I see a lot of people playing in the journals and where I will take it out and just use them as a sheet and put mi mixed media on it. But I think it was really, really cool. It's 40 sheets and it was 262. And they had a couple more. They had watercolor paper and everything. But first I grabbed it and then I realized that the one I buy with my coupon in the store still comes out to be cheaper. So 
I decided to not to buy it. Even though it was 75% off, it still came out to be more expensive than the normal one that I buy. Okay, now let me show you the couple things I got at Michael's, and those are not many. <coughs> Excuse me. So, I believe, oh, I don't have the Michael's, oh no, I didn't have the receipt here, but I believe it was $1.00. Like most of it was just one dollar. I bought this glitter glue Studio G. I want to see if it's anything like my what you call them stickles diamond. Do I have a piece of paper here? Let's see. Anything? Something? Yeah, I do. Mm, it's pretty good. It is pretty good. It was only one dollar. So. I like this. I might, if I go back there, I might just grab one or two more for a dollar. I think it's going to be fine. It's going to, because I do like this um, color, which is not a color, of course, but yeah. What did they give me? Okay. Michael Bucks. They gave me some Michael's Bucks. Okay. So then they had um, like half off and this was from $2 to a dollar. It's just an embossing folder and a little mermaid for my mermaid project. And yes, I do have the receipt right here. Yeah. And then I found this one. It was only a dollar. And I thought it's so adorable. You can, it's like birthday, but also Easter. And even if I just give it as a present to somebody, I think that's really, really cool. And um, it was just a dollar. What else? Glitter. Oh, I could I could even use my 25% off from Joanne's there. So actually it was 75 cents. Okay. And this one was 74 cents. <laughs> I believe. Oh no, one, one, 147. So let me see. This was 147. And then I got those two. And then I got this. They were 75 and 74 cents, as you can see here. So it was really nothing. So I got this just because it was on clearance and it's glitter paint and it's pink and it was $1.47. And if I buy paint at uh, Walmart, like I said, it's a dollar. And I just wanted to see why not because I'm a mixed media artist now. I want it all. <laughs> and the very last item, and I used the coupon on that and I was kind of bummed out that the coupon was only 40% and not 50%, which would have saved me one more dollar. <laughs> <laughs> but I paid $9.60 for this one and I have no idea what it is. I came home and I watched the video. I just decided to get myself something new. I wanted a new medium to try out because, you know, I'm a mixed media artist now. <laughs> However, I got this and I watched videos on that. And um, I don't know how you pronounce it. Patina? 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 Somebody is laughing at me right now, huh? It's just so it makes it look rusty, I guess. It has a texture, that's what they say. And I watched videos and they made such pretty things with that that I'm happy that I did get it. It does have texture in it. I don't know. I don't want to open them yet because I want to open them once I start crafting. But I picked, they had like two sets of colors and I picked the set that I like the colors most. And it always comes in two, two colors and then like something rusty or brass or silver, I think. So this one is brass. So when I make something with that, I will show you. <laughs> Probably on my new canvas. <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea, but that's it. That's all I got and I did pay at Michael's What did I pay? I don't know $13. I think so that was For that and that was very expensive <laughs> So I basically paid three dollars for those four items <laughs> plus this one and it was very good and I didn't pay much at um, Hobby Lobby either so that was a good um, shopping trip for me and I get to or I got to get out of the house and have some fun and walk around and, you know, just be by myself outside somewhere. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you are a mixed media artist, too. <laughs> or maybe you can be. You can be for sure. Just, you know 
play it. I didn't know that you can be a mixed media artist, but you can. Trust me, if I can, you can. I hope you enjoyed this haul. If you did, thumbs up, share, subscribe. As always, leave me a comment down below and tell me if you play mixed media. And I see you soon. Enjoy your day. Bye-bye.